Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Mark, this is MacGyver Backpacking, and you guys know I am a big, big coffee fan. Uh, I, I don't go a day without at least a few cups of coffee, even on the trail. Last trip I went on, I took the AeroPress with me, made some really good coffee out there, and I've done series where I've shown you guys different methods to, to do coffee. One of, one of my favorite ways to do it out there, uh, I, I really, from time to time, enjoy a great shot of espresso. And so the Nano Presso was, was one that I, I love taking out there. And you know, if you're out on the trail with me and I pull a shot and I hand you a shot of espresso, uh, that's not something you get every day out on the trail. And so it's kind of a cool thing, kind of a, uh, you know, I know, I know Rain Man really enjoys it when I bring that. But the guys from Okeko who make the Nano Presso saw that video, reached out to me, said they've got a different product they wanted me to try out. And I've actually seen it before. I saw uh, Gadget Viper, a guy out in the UK, does, does a lot of coffee videos and some backpacking hammock videos. So fits in with what I do quite well. And uh, so I saw some of his videos and he actually tested this a while back when they first released it. And so them sending it to me, I was like, yeah, go ahead, send it out. I definitely want to try this thing out. So what it is, it is the Pippa Mocha. And so it is this, uh, this brewer. It's a self-contained brewing unit right here. It's got a double walled insulated mug and then a screw mechanism that actually kind of works a lot like an AeroPress where it pulls water through your coffee grounds and you end up with a really nice, really smooth cup of coffee at the end. So let's take a look at what we've got here and how it gets used. All right, so for what comes in the box, when you open up the box, it has a manual in there, it has a sticker, it has a few of these little parts here. So this little piece is sort of a little, little funnel, although it's not funnel shaped, uh, it does help to keep the grounds in your basket comes with a little brush so you can sweep it off and actually I found that this brush comes in really handy for cleaning up afterwards and then it's got a little scoop so you can scoop your coffee and put it in to grind it. The mug itself like I said is a double walled stainless mug then you have the screw piece that actually does the work you have a cap it's an insulated sealed cap, it's got a nice rubber gasket on there, so it seals really well. Now one thing it does not have, it doesn't have a drink, a drinking hole or anything, so it is simply just a, a mug cap. So it goes on here, and it's crucial to the actual extraction process that you have it on here when you do the screwing, and then you can place it on your mug, and now it becomes a completely watertight travel mug. And so the way I've been using it, well, let's take a look at the rest of this first. So here's the actual uh, filter basket. So you've got a screen on this side, some holes and a uh, gasket on this side. You open it up and there's some screens inside and that's where the coffee goes. And this is where I found using the, the brush really helps to get the coffee out of the little nooks and crannies in here because you get after you brew, you end up with a little bit of coffee stuck in the edges here. Uh, j just rinsing it out doesn't get. And so you use this and you kind of scrape those edges and everything becomes good. So the way I've been using it is uh, I go to the gym in the morning. And so I use my pre-workout before I go to the gym or actually while I'm driving to the gym. But before I head out the door, I use this, I make a cup, I slap the top on and two hours later, when I am done working out, I get out to my car, it is still hot, ready to go. When I get to work, I've got a nice, good, hot cup of coffee. I don't have to use the K-cups or anything else that's at work because I've got a good cup sitting there waiting for me. It's got a nice rubberized bottom, so it it sits and uh, holds wherever you, wherever you set it. It doesn't move around, doesn't slide around, so that's pretty nice. So what I've got for today is I've got 14 grams of really nice Yergacheffi, uh light roast coffee right here. Just some of my favorite. I mean, this, this is some of my, my favorite coffee. We'll grind it up. I'll show you the grind size. I actually do about the same size that I do for my AeroPress. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this up and show you guys how I put it in. Ok, 
Okay, now that I've got my coffee ground, I take the, the actual basket and then that funnel. And all that funnel does is it sits on there and it kind of serves as a guide to pour it in. So then I'll pour my coffee in. Now I told you I'd show you what the grind size looks like. So here is what my grind size actually looks like. That's what I'm using. Okay, so I'll, I'll finish pouring the rest of my coffee in there. What's nice actually about my onesie presso is it's actually, the, the uh, threads are exactly the same size as that. So it works really well getting that all in there. And then I just kind of give it a little shake to make sure that everything's settled in there. And as you can see, 14 grams pretty much gets that right to the top. Then you take the top of it and you press that on. And there is your puck that will go inside when you're ready. So I'm going to get some water on. And once the water has come to the right temperature, I'll bring you guys back and we'll get this thing going. Okay, so I've got some water to temperature, right around 200 degrees sitting here. So to get this thing ready, you take your the screw piece and your mug and you slide it all the way down in. And you want to make sure that that's, this sleeve is all the way against the gray, so orange against gray, and then press it all the way in. Next, inside, there are some lines. Let's see. Yeah, right along that edge. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but there are some lines. And so there's actually four different lines. There is one that says a quarter, half, three quarters, and one. I don't know if you guys are able to pick that up or not, but that's what you've got right there are those different lines. And what that gives you is either a quarter cup, half cup, three quarters cup, or a full cup. I always go with a full cup. And so those lines drop down, and if you follow the line down, you fill the water to the bottom of that line and that will give you that amount. I always go with the full, which ends up being about an inch below this inner rim. So about an inch below that is where I will fill it to. So there we go. So I've got that filled. And now the water's in here, this is in. I simply take this puck and drop it in. Now it takes about 30 seconds for that puck to drop all the way to the bottom and you'll see bubbles come up. Once it gets down to the bottom, you're gonna wanna tap it a couple of times to get the additional bubbles up and out from under there so that it's resting fully on the bottom. Now you're probably gonna still see some bubbles coming up, especially if you've got fresh coffee that's off-gassing, that carbon dioxide is coming out of the beans and so you're still gonna see some bubbles. Now let it sit for 40, 40 seconds to, to maybe a minute and then once you are ready, you'll put the top on and start the screwing action, which actually extracts the coffee. Okay, so cap goes on, and now it's simply a twisting motion. And they say to do about one, tw one half twist every second. And so it takes about a minute. And if you start getting too much pressure, you're going too fast. So if you start feeling a bunch of resistance, just slow it down a little bit. And the other way you can tell you've gone too fast is when you finish, if you take the top off and there is still water on top of your basket, then you've gone too fast and it hasn't, you haven't allowed that suction to pull the water through and extract the coffee. You've gone too fast. And so water has, the, the pressure has escaped around the sides, around the seals, rather than going through and actually extracting it. And some people have said they don't know when they're actually done with the screwing. So right there, I felt a very distinct pop and it's a lot easier now. So I know that it is done. I pop the top off so that I relieve the pressure that's in there. And now I can simply just pull this off, set that aside. And here I now have a good cup of coffee ready to go. 
All right, so now that you've got a great cup of coffee, you can either let it cool to the point where you can drink it. It's still warm. It, well, it's still hot, but that's a really good cup of coffee. Man, I love those beans. But if you want to take it on the go, simply press the cap down, twist. It has threads in there until it stops. Now you can see it is completely sealed and you've got no problem throwing that in a bag, throwing it in your briefcase, wait until you get to work, opening it back up and enjoying it there. I'm going to let it sit and cool down. Now, as for cleanup, real easy. Once this is done, just rinse it out, give it a little wipe and it'll be fine. For this sleeve, you simply slide the, the puck out. This sleeve itself, just give it a rinse down, make sure all the seals are clean, and uh, to prep it for the next time, just spin it back so that the orange ring is back to the top. Now you're ready to go for the next time. And for the puck, you can just take off the top, and now you've got your grounds. Tap them out into a, uh, a trash can, just tap them out, and then rinse it out. Use This is where I use the brush quite a bit. Get down to those little corners, get all the, uh, the grounds that are stuck in there out, and it'll be clean and ready to go for the next time you want to use it. So far, I've used this quite a bit, and I gotta say, it actually produces a really, really clean, really nice cup of coffee, a lot like an AeroPress. The difference is, this is all a self-contained unit. I can use it, have my coffee ready to go already, take it to the office, uh, throw it in my bag, go hit the gym. When I come out, I've still got a nice, warm, hot cup of coffee. Oh, so much better than like a K-Cup cup or any of that other crap. I don't know what they use. It's it's some local delivery that, that drops off these bags, but it doesn't come close to this. So if you guys are looking for something kind of cool, a, another unique little device for the on-the-go type stuff, this Pippa Mocha. Pippa Mocha, right there, by Wakako. Definitely something you should look at. If you like espressos, that Nano Presso that I've got is awesome. I still use it quite a bit. Uh, I actually bought the Barista Kit for that so that I can do a double shot and that makes it even more convenient because out in the field, uh, having a little bit more makes it just, just nicer. Not having to do a couple of single shots, you actually do up a double shot and you're ready to go. Um, but I really like this one. This is really good. I'll leave all the description stuff, or down in the description, I'll leave the, the link to where you can find more information about this or where you can pick it up. I appreciate you guys checking this out. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. And as always, if you haven't done so before, hit that subscribe button right next to it will be a bell icon. If you hit that, you'll get notifications every time I do a video. I'll see you guys down the trail.